I'm Raimundo. Hi, I'm Reggie Moore. <laughs> well, I'm I'm Ray, Raimundo Fastinisto because I'm so fancy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Reggie Moore. Hi, I'm me. <laughs> One goes around, comes back around, yeah, my baby. One goes around, comes back around, yeah, my baby. One goes around, comes back around, yeah, my baby. One goes around, comes back around. There was What's up everybody, it's your boy Reggie Moore. I'm black and Mexican. I was born in Texas, but spent 10 years of my life in California before I graduated. And then from there, I moved to Seattle for four years, and then back to Texas, and now I'm here. What's up people, it's your boy Reggie motherfucking Moore. I'm sorry for my mouth, I, I cuss a lot and I don't even mean to. It's Mundo. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Mundo Fashionista. He's my best friend. 22 year old innovator, a design stylist. I do like crazy cuts like this. I'm here in New York to try to at least get discovered. I have a lot of talents and a lot of skills, and I want to be discovered because I'm ready to take over the world with my best friend, Reggie. It's New Year's night, right? And um, I don't even know where Jesse was. Jesse was nowhere to be found. Everything that happened was not as planned. Well, I went to this New York Loft New Year's party, and I was trying to get Raimundo to come, and he didn't decide to come until mad, like, late, late, after whoever he was with ditched him. So I called Reggie, I'm like, Reggie, where are you? I like, have to go to Plan B. It's like an hour and a half until New Year's, and I have to get somewhere. 2011, we got exactly. <laughs> 15 minutes to the new year. 11.52, and I'm like 10 blocks away from the law party. All right. 15 minutes. Happy New Year's to everybody. I'm drunk. Likewise. Next you know, it's 11.55, and I'm still like three blocks away from the place, and there's, there's like a red light. I'm thinking, should I get out and run? What's up, bitches? Oh my god, I'm going to, I'm going to miss the countdown, I'm going to miss the countdown. Yeah, yeah. Here we go, the mono truth. It's like 11.58 and I'm like three blocks away. 11.59, two blocks away. Next you know, it's like counting down minutes from 11.59 to 11.58, oh well, 58 minutes, 58 seconds, 57 seconds, and I'm like anxious. I'm like, you know what, here's the money. You didn't want to give me my change. I said, keep your fucking change. I got out the cab. Reggie's like greeting me at the door. He's like, hurry up, it's gonna be New Year's. And as soon as I stand on the door, I look inside, it is 12 o'clock, and we just say Happy New Year's to each other, me and Reggie, because we actually missed the countdown. <laughs> What's up, people? It's your boy Reggie Moore. It's your mundo fashionista. And it's 2000 and motherfucking 12. And I'm on my ninth drink, so I'm kind of drunk. Just a little bit. We're there, we're chilling. There's, it's like three stories, and um, there's this lady who's trying to, who's dying to take a picture with Raimundo. There's always people trying to take a picture with me, and I don't even remember. What lady are you talking about, honestly? <laughs> She's like an older white lady. 
because he has his hair and it's all different and shit. So they finally do that. Oh my god! I don't even know if that was a lady or a man because she had like a really strong like facial strip features and like an I don't I want to say an Adam's apple but I don't remember but. <laughs> I'd like to give a little shout out to Raimundo, Fashionisto, what is it? That's it? Yeah! What is Mundo, right? Mundo Fashionisto. Mundo Fashionisto. There was an unlimited amount of alcohol in this humongous tub. Like, it was heaven. It was like champagne, uh, wine, liquor, vodka, dark liquor, everything you could think of, sodas, and it was just presented to you like a fucking, like, like money on platter. And I am Reggie Moore. Stay tuned, even though you bitches don't fucking watch me because I don't know, I'm black and Mexican. I don't care. I'm out. We're taking shots, we're drinking. I'm, I'm a really good, like, mixologist, so I always mix people's drinks. I mean, it might not always taste so good, but you get drunk. They are cooking, they have ham, they have free alcohol, grapes, chicken, um, shish kebabs, everything. It was a good night. I got really, really drunk. Yeah. The next day when I woke up without shoes, but I had slippers. Oh wait, where's yours? These are the ones yeah. I've had ever since New Year's. These are just some pictures of the rest of the night because I really didn't record everything. What's up everybody, it's your man Dre Jones. I am singer, songwriter. I just moved here from Baltimore to New York City to make my dreams come true, you know, take over the world with music and dance and entertainment. I'm gonna bring back real, real music. So you can follow me on Twitter at Dre Jones underscore ENT, and that's the same thing for Instagram. It's at Dre Jones underscore ENT. tells me, yeah, I'm on my way because I'm getting ready to go back to Baltimore for, weeks for my birthday. So he gives me a call and he says he's on his way. I let him in and keep in mind, I'm running, from the way I stay in New York, I'm running from a guy who has cats and I'm not too fond of cats, but as long as they don't come to my room, I'm good. Let me start out by saying that Dre has the scariest hallway I've ever seen in my life. Mad scary down these halls. It's like a mix of Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, The Exorcist, Chucky, Children of the Corn, whatever scary movie you can think of. Jeepers Creepers. You're walking down this motherfucking hallway and then you see a shrine. So I let Mr. Moore in, and behind him comes a stubborn ass cat, and he walks in my room and jumps up on the the window sill, and I'm I'm like, look. As a matter of fact, the cat was in the room before I even walked in, so it was more Drake's fault than mine. Get the cat out. <laughs> okay. All right. The cat is in my fucking room and I, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm, I'm high as shit. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Yo, look! I ain't no bitch, but look. Right now, I don't like creatures, okay? If it ain't human, it, it, we, we ain't getting along. Oh, that cat just, its eyes just glowed like a demon. Mm mm. 
I don't, I'm not, I'm not fucking with it. Then I saw its eyes glowing. I, I was out. I'm Mexican. Superstitious and all. I, look, I don't, because I don't really don't think this thing is going to, like, move. Come on, son. Oh, because his face is turning towards my hand. That means he's going to bite me. That is exactly what it means. If a cat face turns towards your hand, that means it's going to fucking bite you. Then all of a sudden, Dre was Dr. Phil on cats, saying when a cat's head turns towards your hand, it's going to bite you. I don't think face cap on turning towards my hand. Why is the cat face turning towards my hand? It's not a good sign. It means it's going to bite you. If the cat face turns towards your hand, it's going to bite you. I was grabbing. I kept on grabbing my fucking cat like four or five times and kept on punching. Hey. 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 Oh, yo, it's not moving, son. <sighs> Shit. Whose cat is it? The landlord. His face goes towards my head. Your face should not go towards my head. No. I don't know. I don't know how to handle cats. <laughs> this is a stubborn cat. Then, 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 then the nigga started calling the cat like it was a dog. The cat was like. Cats look like, like, nigga, I am a cat. <laughs> they respond to ask what they do. We in there trying to get the damn cat out, and eventually I had to hand it over to him. So I'm allergic to cats, so I was tired of him trying to call the cat like it was a dog, so I had to get Mexican on it. So I got a pair of shoes and did what I had to do. My man, Reggie the Moore. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Go. Go. This way. This way. Yeah. There you go. Oh why? Oh why? Oh why? My man. My man. Reggie the fucking Moore. I tried. I hope that's not animal cruelty. <laughs> he let the cat in, so he had to get the cat the fuck out my room. But Nick wants that. Nick, Nick, Nick's trying to help me, and Nick sings better than me. You don't. I don't sing better. You don't sing better than me. No, Nick, you don't. That's like that's like that's like you making fun of somebody with two legs, thinking you only got one. Okay. You can't do that. Like my God. My God, what? I, sing better than you. I oh my, you really do think that? I knew that's what you thought. I knew that's what you thought. Because